thousand to go. And now the Q-tip with an 8-4. He's going to lay it down as well, so Mattisau is going to pick up the blinds and annies. Mike Mattisau, very savvy when it comes to strategy for tournament poker. He understands when the blinds and annies go up, that's the time to start stealing. He's going to become more aggressive in his three-handed battle and try to pick up more than his share of blinds and annies. Let's see if he does that. The mouth knows what he's doing, an experienced tournament player. He knows he has to change gears. Will he take his first WPT title, you know? He is one of the most respected yeah. tournament players in the world. All his friends have taken titles, and that's what he wants here tonight. Hopefully you two get... All right, it's going to be back on Danny Wong with the button. And Danny, the youngest player at the table, 22 years old, with an 8-3 goes away. And to Kevin. He's got a 6-4 in the small blind. He's going to make the call. And now Go the ahead. mouth with Queen-4, content to call. Not going to raise. Here we go with the flop. It's come queen 9-9. Nine, nine. Manisau flopping queens up here, but Kevin Saul leading out and betting with just a six high here. 75,000, and Manisau quickly calling him. Yep, not going to raise. Going to play this one slow. Top pair. A 10 on the turn. Well, Kevin's going to check, and Manisau checks right behind him. Now a deuce comes off. Nothing well, hitting there for Kevin, but... Well, Kevin reaching for chips here. Knows the only way he could possibly win this pot is to bet at it. But still, when you bet on the flop and a man calls you, even if he had some type of straight throw, the worst he's got here is a pair of tens. But Kevin is going to bet anyway. 285000 at the mouth. And you got to think the mouth has to call this hand. All right, kid, you got it. Oh, I am in shock over this. What Mike Mattisau laying that hand down and then showing the queen. I mean, you have to put your opponent on an over pair, meaning aces or kings, or a third nine to lay that hand down. Well, Mike just put him on a nine. He just gave him too much credit and lays down a pair of queens, showing the cards. Probably thinks he made a good lay down. Makes a horrible lay down. But what it's doing is send a message that these guys can run over him, looks like to me. That's the message he's trying to send him, or he wouldn't have showed him that hand. Yeah, but as we've seen all night, that is the strength of Kevin's aggressive style. He raises so often with any two cards that Mike actually gives him credit for hitting trip nines when Kevin leads out again on the river. I always have a blast playing this game. My greatest poker accomplishment is putting 90% of my opponent's past, future, and present on permanent life tilt because of the way I play. And they tell me what a donkey I am. And I just, I laugh because people don't play good when they're upset. If you agitate them a little bit, they get upset and they start gunning after you and you can know that they're gunning after you and you can play accordingly and you know, they just start giving you chips. You get it all, The next thing you know, the tournament director or the dealer is yelling seat open and they're out of the tournament you got their chips. 4-6 suited is my favorite hand. 4-6 suited is better than aces, I'm telling you all. You have to play it like aces, you just play it that way and people fold. And you just make hands. And it's just the best. I play my cards and I play my opponents. And if I sense weakness, I go after them. Nothing changes now. I mean, this is what we all have been working for. Let's go back down the table. It's going to be on the bluffer himself, Kevin Saul, human Q-tip. This time looks down to the jack six of diamonds with the button. Well, Vance, right now he's on a heater, he's on a roll. He knows he's stolen a lot of pots here tonight, including that last one off Mattisau, so he is feeling good. Why not raise it up? Makes it 183,000 to go with the Jack-6. Next to act.